Speaking of a dream uh-huh. for Embracer Group, yeah. The fi- the sales final. They mm-hmm. now own Crystal Dynamics, Eidos Montreal, and Square Enix Montreal. Crazy. They own them. The yeah. sale is done. That's crazy. Yes. So they own the studio and some IPs. Yes. Not all of them. Not all of them. them. So they own Tomb Raider. Yep. Deus Ex. Yep. Uh, other things. <laughs> Various other things. Uh, yes. There's yeah. Probably quite a bit actually in there. I think this is going to be good for them. Yeah, I think we'll see some more games. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty sure that, like, Square Enix Japan had, like, pretty heavy hand on what they were doing. Yeah. Like, I don't think they were free to just make a Tomb Raider like they wanted to or whatever. No. Same thing with Deus Ex. So, I'm expecting we'll have a day, excuse me, a Deus Ex announcement within the next six months. Yeah, we can only hope. And we're going to have a Tomb Raider one. I don't think there's anything announced for Tomb Raider right now. We're going to have these announcements shortly because otherwise, why buy them? Yeah. Really? I mean, maybe we'll get a new Gex game. Or even the ability <laughs> to purchase a Gex game? <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can buy Gex. <laughs> what else do they own? Pandemonium? Is that yep, on the list? Pandemonium. Yeah. Uh, Whiplash, Project Snowblind, Omen, Soul Reaver. Oh, yeah. Legacy of Kane. Legacy of Kane. Again, another one that could use a new game. Yep. Could you imagine a new Legacy of Kane? souls like well, you can't imagine no i can't because i never played it you never played any S- legacy of kane no what <laughs> my mind is blown dude i mean you can't really go back to it now but when that was new holy i will list off the entire all of the games from them that i have played okay right now yes pandemonium that's the only one i the only played. one you never played a Tomb Raider Oh, game? wait. No, original Tomb Raider's on here. Okay. I've played Tomb Raider and Tomb Raider 2. And that's it. Oh, I never, Perfect Dark. I never... Perfect Dark? What? Yep. Perfect Dark's on this list. What? Then something's rotten in Denmark. That's a <laughs> rare game. Perfect Dark's owned by Microsoft. I wonder if there's another game called Perfect Dark. Yeah, well, let's find out. Perfect Dark. Upcoming video game. Perfect Dark's upcoming video oh, game. Oh, are they working Crystal on Dynamics. it? They're working oh, yeah, for that's, Microsoft. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's right, like, right, it's right. up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Uh, I never played Pandemonium. Yeah, it was good. I know. 2.5D. I always wanted to play it. It looked incredible. <laughs> yeah, I really liked playing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think this is a good thing. Like, And you never played Deus Ex? Come on. Uh, Deus Ex is Eidos. Oh, you were looking at Crystal Dynamics? I was games? looking at Crystal Dynamics, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that makes more sense. Yes. Um, Also, Embracer bought, like, the rights to... Lord of the Rings. Oh. Like they own... That's a probably expensive purchase. It wasn't that expensive, actually. No? Yeah, it was like $2 billion or something like that. Huh. Seems uh Seems cheap to me. Yeah. Considering Amazon is spending a billion dollars on the Lord of the Rings show. <laughs> seemed cheap. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I don't know what cheap is when you're getting into the billions and billions. Well, I mean, this... <laughs> Crystal Dynamics purchase was three hundred million. Yeah, that seemed cheap to me when we yes. did it. Yes, Bungie was what two billion? Two billion, yeah. Which I thought was too much. <laughs> and then uh, what was the Bethesda purchase? Like sixty billion or something like that? No, I don't know. Maybe I can't remember. But I thought that was too much considering like Star Wars was like five billion. Uh, seven point five bill. That was seven point five bill. Yeah. Yeah, and Star Wars was like five billion. Which I thought was cheap, a lot, but cheap comparison to Bethesda. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, when you're talking about billions, it's like, what is going on? No, what was it? Oh, Activision was the one that was like sixty billion dollars. No, it was like sixty-eight point seven billion dollars, <laughs> and they didn't do it to sixty-nine billion for the memes. Yeah, that was the one where it was like, holy shit. Yeah, sixty-eight point seven bill. Yeah, that was the one I was thinking of. Ninety-five dollars a share. Yes. Oh, ninety-five dollars a share. Nice. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I'm. I'm excited to see what they're actually going to do with these IPs because Square was doing jack shit with them. Yeah. Deus Ex. It's like cyberpunk. Like imagine. Yeah, literally. Deus, it, Ex. Deus Ex is literally cyberpunk. Deus Ex cyberpunk style game, like open That's world. Like... You can sneak in the duct. You get your robot legs and shit. 
I mean, Deus Ex looked incredible on the 360. Did you play those ones? No. Yeah. 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 Didn't that look incredible? I oh wait no I didn't play it on 360 but uh, I did play it on PC on PC but like I'm talking about like Human Revolution and uh, Mankind Divided I I I played Mankind Divided on the PS4 okay but like the style and everything yeah looks incredible oh yeah, yeah. for sure so and it's and it's literally in the cyberpunk universe yeah so like can you of. imagine something like that kind of cyberpunk universe but it it is cyberpunk but like modern graphics yeah no thumb of square enix on you to be like <laughs> you better sell 40 million copies or you're not you're gonna be underperforming it's like 40 million copies like what the fuck are you, talking you are about? underperforming yeah so i'm excited <laughs> to see what the future holds yes and that and with with embracer now having the lord of the Rings stuff like yep. what is that gonna do because they own dark horse so lord of the ring comic books no oh. video games i mean fuck they can do what their own show movie whatever yep yeah, there you go. It's crazy. All right, that's gonna be the end. It's a shorty of this podcast. Bit of a shorty. This Bit of a shorty. Week. Didn't have much news to talk about. Summer we, months. Yeah, summer it is the summer rather. months. And then, of course, game club was very short. And uh, yeah, I mean, we had a little bit going on in our lives, so that's okay too. Yeah, I had to bullshit about or complain about twelve minutes of it. So. Yep. <laughs> Pretty, pretty, pretty standard. Pretty, pretty standard. Pretty standard. I was complaining. <laughs> yeah. Pretty standard. Make sure you stick around for the after show when we're going to be doing something that I can't remember what it was going to be. You're going to show me a picture. I was going to show you a picture. Yes. Yeah. That's it. What a good after show. It's going to be the best after <laughs> show. <laughs> All right, guys. If you're listening to this on an RIS feed, on a podcatcher, make sure you share us with a friend. Make sure you uh, let those people know that we're awesome and they should listen to us. And uh, make sure you rate us on uh, Google or on Apple or on uh, Stitcher or whatever. I almost impl- uh, I almost installed iTunes just to see. Apparently, iTunes will show you like how popular each episode is and stuff too. Really? Well, huh. I saw I I saw I was watching a uh, YouTuber and he was talking about his podcast and he showed like iTunes where he clicked the subscribe button. Yeah. And there's like a little ten notch bar that shows the popularity of each episode. Oh. So, well, maybe gonna, I'll just go and get my. I was my... going to do that, but then I was like, fuck it, I don't want to sell iTunes. <laughs> I mean, you could just look at it on Podbean, can't you? Well, I mean, yeah, you, you can see, see how, how many... popular an episode is, but not how popular it is on iTunes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it It's all the metrics, all the downloads. It shows the different places? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys again in one week's time. Bye. Bye.